Montana property owners' taxable values were one key part of the property tax picture, but another important factor are the mill levies set by local governments, and counties across Montana are finalizing those mill levies this month. The Lewis and Clark County Commission approved their mill rates for the year at a meeting Thursday morning. Like in other local governments, those rates are limited by state law. One mill is one dollar of property tax for every thousand dollars of taxable value. The mill rates are set so the county raises the same amount of revenue as last year, plus an increase for inflation, about 2.5 percent this year, plus an increase for newly taxable property. Because property values in Lewis and Clark County increased roughly 30 percent in the recent reassessment, the county decreased its mills by about 36 within cities and about 43 in unincorporated areas. County finance staff said over Overall, their revenues from mill levies will increase by about 5%. We've tried to absorb some of those uh, high inflationary costs by being a little more cautious in, in things that we're buying, maybe stretching up uh, capital purchases a little bit longer, trying to keep the, the impact of the taxpayer down. Counties are responsible for calculating and assessing property taxes, but the rates they'll submit to the Montana Department of Revenue include not only their own mills, but also mills from cities, schools, and special districts. That makes it complicated to compare tax rates across various locations. A property owner within the city of Helena would have a total of 804 mills last year, reduced to 706 this year. Lewis and Clark County leaders say they understand people have questions about property tax rates, and they want to be open about the process. Encourage people to come by and, and bring their questions. We'll try to, try to answer them. You can expect to see property tax bills from your counties in the fall. In Helena, Jonathan Ambarian, MTN News.